guys, welcome back to our channel, or welcome to our channel. My name is Zara, and I'm a part of Heritage Livestock Canada, an organization devoted to the preservation of rare and heritage breed livestock. Because believe it or not, there are endangered animals that I bet you've never even heard of. So my goal in this video series is to open your eyes to a whole new category of disappearing animals. In today's video, I'll be covering the Nubian goat. Nubians are the result of the crossing of breeds from the UK, India, Russia, and Egypt. They have distinct Roman noses, long drooping ears, and horns, but have no specific pattern or coloring. Judges look for the shape of the nose and ears, but also have weight and height averages for certain age groups. The Nubian goat is a dual purpose breed, meaning it's used for its milk and or its meat. Their milk, which has high butterfat, is also great for cheese making. Nubians were first imported to Canada in the early 1900s and were known at the time as Anglo-Nubians. But with the arrival of the boar goat, Nubians began to decline due to the competition where goat meat was concerned. These goats are friendly, hardy, and adaptable, but have a lot of voice. Goats eat hay, grass, and small amounts of salt and minerals in the form of salt blocks. Goats are also ruminous, which means they have four stomachs. The average goat gestation is 150 days, and farmers usually try to aim for the kids, which is what you call a baby goat, to be born in the spring. Goat milk has more protein than most other kinds of milk, and is supposed to be more easily digestible. The milk can also be used to make soap. Another big product made from goat's milk is cheese. There are tons of different kinds, and they're either called goat cheese or chev, which is French. If you like goat cheese, you can give a like on this video, but if you don't, you can just go ahead and like it anyway. This breed is at risk, and like most breeds protected by Heritage Livestock Canada, the Nubian goat is being replaced by a more popular breed, in this case the boar goat. Another possible factor is that some farmers choose not to register their dairy goats, and this lowers the breed's numbers of registered purebred animals. Seriously guys, I'm not kidding. It means a lot when you like a video and subscribe, because the more people know about rare breeds like this one, the better. And if you need more information, you can go check out our website. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Oh yeah! What? Whoa, whoa!